want to show you guys my book collection that I had started, I guess you could say a year or two ago. I wanted to start with the first book that I got. This book right here, it is titled More Than Enough, Claiming Space for Who You Are, No Matter What They Say by Eileen. I don't know how to pronounce her last name, so I will just put it on the screen so I don't even have to butcher it. I know I should know how to say her name because names are important. So I started reading this book a year or two ago. I got this at Target. It was 30% off. It was during Black History Month that I got it. And I'm on chapter 11 at this point. And I want to finish reading it because it is a really good book. So this book is about the author and kind of how she has climbed the ranks of social media and fashion. She actually became the youngest and the only second black editor-in-chief for Condé Nast history. And I feel like that's really interesting. So she talks about her life and how she got started in social media and fashion. It has got... It has 24 chapters and it has a conclusion and acknowledgements as well. So a pretty good read that I want to finish before I go on to the six other books that I have here too. Here are the next two books right here. So this first one is Amanda Gorman's The Hill We Climb. This is the book form of the poem that she performed at the inauguration. And when I heard her perform the poem at the inauguration I knew I wanted to get her poem in book form and I'm very glad that I did. Here's the next book so this is Grown by Tiffany D. Jackson. I know some of you guys may recognize this beautiful beautiful cover of this melanated sister. I'm really glad that I bought this book because first of all again this cover is beautiful and I wanted to read it just from hearing the reviews of some other people just on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. I don't really know what book I'll read after I'm done with this one, but we'll see. And I will give you a book review as I finish each of these books. I don't really want to do it all together because I feel like that's a lot of thinking for me. So I'll do the book reviews one by one. I got these two books at Barnes & Noble. So this one right here, was a buy one get one 50 percent off deal so i got this one and then i got this one half off here's the next book this one is titled slay in your lane presents loud black girls and this one is a culmination of essays by lots of different black women i really like the cover of this i feel like it's really pretty and i got these next four books that i'm going to show you guys at my local bookstore it's called brookline booksmith in brookline massachusetts so y'all should go check that place out because they have a lot of different books not just books but they have candles games cookbooks a lot of different things it's a really cool place and i love going there a lot i will put the information for each of these books around the screen and the description box just in case you all are looking for more books to read or ones to add to your collection so this book is edited by yomi Ado adegoke goki or goke i'm not exactly sure i'm I honestly suck at names so again I'll put all the information around just so y'all can know these people's names. And Elizabeth, I don't know how to pronounce the name and I don't want to mess it up. And it has a foreword by by Booker Prize winner Bernadine Ivaristo. And on the back it has all of the people that wrote each of the essays that are in this book. So the next book is Hood Feminism notes from the women that a movement forgot by mickey kendall i am really excited to read this book i remember hearing about it i don't exactly remember when but i do remember hearing about it and i honestly don't know why i didn't pick it up then but i'm glad that i picked it up now and this is the second to last book that i got this book is titled the unapologetic guide to black mental health 
navigate an unequal system, learn tools for emotional wellness, and get the help you deserve by Rahita Walker, PhD, and a foreword by Naeem Akbar, PhD. I'm really excited to read this one, and when I when I picked up this book, I knew that I wanted to read the back of it to you guys because all of these books are very important books to read, I feel like, in my opinion, but especially this one for the Black community because there's just a lot going on in the community, and I feel like this is a book that we all should read. So here it is. It's time to reclaim your mental health. We can't deny it any longer. There is a black mental health crisis in our world today. In addition, the effects of undereducation, poverty, and systemic racism have greatly impacted African Americans' access to effective mental health treatment. It's time to take black mental health seriously. It's time to heal our psychological distress find community and combat marginalization in order to thrive. So how do you go about getting the best care possible for yourself or a loved one in a system steeped in racial bias? In this much needed guide, psychologist and professor Rahita Walker offers an unflinching exploration of black mental health and provides a comprehensive roadmap to getting the care you need and deserve. Packed with essential information and advice for navigating the system, this invaluable resource will help you recognize and understand mental health conditions, discover real tools for coping with symptoms, and learn to be your own advocate. If you or someone you love needs help, this book will show you how to find it. Wow. Honestly, that was really powerful. And I'm honestly so glad that I picked up all of these books because I feel like this is a right time and right place type of situation because over, I guess you could say the past two and a half years, I have been trying to work through and kind of combat my own mental health struggles. And I feel like all of these books will help me kind of better myself and move forward through the insecurities and struggles that I have. So I'm so grateful that I ended up picking up these books and that I was able to find them in the times that I did. And this book also has a quote from someone who read this book that I wanted to read. It is by Jemima Pierre author of The Predicament of Blackness, and this is the what she said about this book. So she says, Walker has written a Black cultural tour de force, a robust and rev revelatory declaration that our very own culture can save us. That is really powerful. I am so excited to read this book. I honestly have not been this excited to read any book over my lifetime, my 21 and some months years of living, but I'm excited to read all of these, especially this one. Here is the last book right here. This one is a very popular one at this point. It's a number one New York Times bestseller and it is titled Tiny Changes, Remarkable Results, Atomic Habits, An Easy and Proven Way to Build Good Habits and Break Bad Ones by James Clear and 40 and over 4 million copies of this were sold which i honestly that should be telling you something right there if over 4 million copies of this book have been sold and i have been hearing about this book a few times and i'm glad that i was able to pick it up and i'm excited to read it and i'm going to read the back of it too because there are three quotes on here and just a little bit more information about what this book is. So I'm gonna read all that to you guys. So discover the secrets to results that last. Packed with evidence-based self-improvement strategies, Atomic Habits will teach you how to design habits that work for you rather than against you. And here are the three quotes. The first one is by 
Mark Manson, number one New York Times bestselling author of The Subtle Art of Not Giving a, a Fuck. A supremely practical and useful book, James Clear distills the most fundamental information about habit formation so you can accomplish more by focusing on less. Second quote by Adam Grant, New York Times bestselling author of Originals, Give and Take, and Option B with Sheryl Sandberg. So he says, James Clear has spent years honing the art and studying the science of habits. This engaging hands-on is the guide you need to break bad routines and make new ones. Here's the last quote by Ryan Holiday, best-selling author of The Obstacle is the Way and Ego is the Enemy, a special book that will change how you approach your day and live your life. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little list of the books that I am going to be reading. I honestly wanted to say the little spiel about this book because I feel like what I said and what this book is, is so, so needed in the black community because we go through so much turmoil and stress all the time, 24 seven. And I feel like this is a book that we should all read because all of these books, especially this one, are so, so needed in the community. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next couple of days again.